So when x is divided by 5, the remainder is 3. So x is a multiple of 5 plus 3. And when x is divided by 7, the remainder is 4. So x is a multiple of 7 plus 4. Okay, and, and this is true of x or y. So basically, it's not like we have to do this four times. But this is true of x or y. Okay, well, the shortcut here is that x and y are numbers that are on this list. The rule with remainder, you know, for possible numbers for what satisfies both these constraints. The rule with remainders is once you get the first number, like the first number that satisfies both constraints, a number that is simultaneously 3 more than a multiple of 5 and 4 more than a multiple of 7, the next number that will work is that first one plus the LCM of the two divisors. So we're going to count by 35 to get, you know, down this list of possible numbers that work. So actually we know that 35 is going to be a factor of x minus y. And to do it, to do it out a little more, I mean, here's how it, the general architecture for doing a remainder problem. You, you, you find, you know, you start working on, on what numbers actually satisfy this constraint. 7q plus 4, I would actually start with that one because it's got our larger remainder and divisor. So the first possible value of x is 4. Because remember, when you do 4 divided by 7, that's like 0, remainder 4. And then you just keep adding 7 to that. Um, and then I stop once I notice one of them is 3 more than a multiple of 5. So that's 18. So 18 is the first possible value that works for x, or in this case, also for y, because they give you the exact same criteria. And then, like I said, the next one that would work is the first one, 18, plus the LCM of the two divisors. Because it like keeps resetting. Once you find a least common multiple of, of 5 and 7, that's where like this pattern restarts again. You have to go up another 18 from there from, you know, from 35 up. And then from 70, you have to go up another 18 for this to coincide again. But, you know, another way of doing that is just starting with 18 and adding 35 each time. But because this wants x minus y, you mean, you see that we count from one number on this list to the other by 35. So 35 has got to be a factor of their difference. Done.